I said, I got diagnosed, I said, I have uh, ADHD. And he kind of laughed at first. He goes, what? He goes, that's for kids. I'm like, no. I said, it's not necessarily just for kids. I said, uh, I said, I have it. I think a lot of people have this misconception that ADHD is just something that younger boys get diagnosed with that are hyper, that run around the room. That is not the case at all. Because I don't think most people realize that it does exist in adults and it does exist in females. Um, it's just very different the way it presents itself. When I did get diagnosed with it, and then I did look back at my childhood, and you know, I was always getting in trouble at school, and not really meaning, not being malicious, but just you know, being rambunctious, basically, right? School is just always, always very, very difficult. Getting, getting assignments in, uh, doing just the the day to day um, route stuff was just very, very difficult. I was always distracted in class. I was diagnosed three years ago. Started seeing signs of a lot of anxiety. Uh, it affected my everyday life, it affected my work, uh, my relationship with my wife, my family. So along with the ADHD and the anxiety, I, I do sometimes experience depression. And sometimes, um, sometimes it gets to be quite deep depression. There's absolutely a connection between that anxiety and the ADHD in that not only do they happen to coincide more often, but the anxiety makes the ADHD symptoms quite a bit worse. A lot of people with ADHD, they want to do well. It's not because they're lazy. It's not because they don't want to try. It's just they need that extra time. They need to be away. Um, another thing I really wish that people understood is that motivation is a neurological thing. It's not a personality thing. It's not a, if you really want to thing. Um, so for people with ADHD, if they're under just enough pressure, not so much that they shut down, but not too little that it's not important, then that motivates them. That actually changes the way the brain is functioning, it releases chemicals in the brain that help them focus. I, I, I found uh, knowing uh, makes it, has made it easier for me to manage it. Um, it's very difficult to manage something when you don't know what it is that you're trying to manage. The fact that in Ontario, in Canada, there are so many ministries that don't recognize ADHD as a disability is enormously harmful. It's harmful to me as a person who grew up so impaired and it's harmful to me as a parent and it's harmful to my children because they have to constantly justify every little thing that they do wrong and they're told it's an excuse. I wish that people knew more about ADHD and I, w I feel that there's definitely a stigma associated with it. Um, and I feel that if they had more knowledge, um, that they, they wouldn't be as judgmental. Let's get the conversation going. Let's continue it. And I think if more people start talking about it, it'll become more natural and people don't need to feel ashamed to talk about it.